this deal on Munbij was signed in June between Turkey and the United States, and it seemed today was finally implemented. Now, what this deal in, um, entails is that for the first time ever, we are going to see Turkish soldiers and American soldiers on the ground, side by side, jointly patrolling a strategic area in the northern Aleppo countryside by the city of Munbij. This city is very important. Uh, both for Turkey and for the United States and for the Syrian people. It's in an area that was once controlled by the Assad regime and then was captured by rebels and then by, uh, eventually by Daesh and then by the YPG. That's the Syrian affiliate of the PKK terror group. This deal ensures that the joint patrols will maintain some level of stability and security in the area, will prevent the PKK's Syrian offshoot from using Menbij as an area where they can launch cross-border operations, either whether into Turkey or against the Syrian, Arab, and Kurdish populace. So it seems that this is a major uh, development here between the two countries, a confidence-building measure that could perhaps be eventually um, uh, implemented in other parts of Syria. Let's not forget that Turkey is still very much worried that the United States partners with the YPG, the Syrian offshoot of the PKK, which is considered both by the U.S. and by Turkey as a terror group. So for now, we are seeing the first steps of a joint military patrol between the two countries in an area that's very important to control in order to prevent extremists from infiltrating into the rest of Syria and possibly into Turkey. So a very important development militarily in northern Syria. Good morning. So Turkey and the United States are NATO allies. So what is the aim and significance, though, of this cooperation? I mean, they don't see eye to eye on every issue. Absolutely. And what's interesting here, coincidentally, our team happened to be right on the Menbij and Jorablis border this morning and this afternoon, right as when this joint military patrol was taking place. And we were speaking to local councils, to local Arab tribal leaders, and to uh, Syrians who were displaced from Menbij. Tens of thousands of civilians have been forced from Menbij from their homes because of the YPG and their locally controlled Menbij military council. So many Syrians are hoping to return to a life of normalcy at some point, and they believe that the only way for that to be achieved is for some sort of deal, a peace deal, to be uh, negotiated between Turkey, which has a very heavy presence on the ground in northern Syria following the defeat of Daesh in that part of Syria, and the United States, which still maintains a very heavy military presence throughout northeastern Syria. So we'll have to wait and see to see whether or not this joint patrol eventually leads to a sustained political settlement where tens of thousands of Syrian Arabs and Kurds who were pushed out of Manbij by the YPG could eventually return back to their homes.